Hi, I'm Vita Flores from the Vita Nutrition Show. I'm here today with David Hayden, chef and owner of Il Domide Restaurant in Standerfell, California. Today he made a panna cotta with caramel sauce. This is actually a salted caramel sauce. It takes a couple of minutes and it only has about three or four ingredients in it, which is basically the main component. It's going to be sugar, uh, butter, cream, and some um, hand harvested sea salt from France, some flake salt. So what I'm going to do is, um, first of all, start off with a pan over medium to high heat. I'm going to add a couple teaspoons of water. So water and sugar together. It's a good mixture so far, and that helps break the sugar down a little bit. Um, I'm going to add about a cup of sugar. You can hear it starting to bubble down a little bit. That looks fantastic. Okay, now it's starting to turn color. It's starting to reduce down. Mm -hmm. It's starting to caramelize. And so it's really nice and hot right now, about 400 degrees. So we want to reduce the heat just a little bit to keep it going consistently without burning it. Now it's turning color. And it's getting that caramely, caramely color. That's beautiful. Right? Awesome. It's almost ready to go. Oh, it's butternut color. It's just absolutely beautiful. Yeah. I'm going to add my cream first. This is the organic cream from Strauss. Uh -huh. Beautiful. It's about a half cup of cream. All right, see how it's bubbling up like this? Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Okay. Starting to bubble like this, I'm going to add my butter now, which is about four tablespoons of butter. I'm going to add a pinch of salt, a couple pinches, maybe about a, um, say about a tablespoon of salt. I like it. It dissolves better in um, sharpness to it as, say, an iodized salt would have, mm -hmm. less mineral, minerality to it. And then uh, once everything's dissolved and mixed in, the sugar becomes just perfect consistency right here, as you can tell. So, um, now you can do a couple of things with this. You let it let it cool. Number one, you can actually add it um, to an ice cube tray if you like, and make little caramel cubes and put a um, like a lo uh, lollipop um, stick in it, mm -hmm. right? And make little caramel sticks if you. Like. And what I do is I pour it into a squeeze bottle because it helps me uh, create decorations on the plate and everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I did with, you know, like this, and then I can put it on my dessert like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, um, I, can, um, I can save it, I can freeze it, okay. and use it again and just heat it up as I go. I'll be very careful because it is hot. Okay. Oh, it's beautiful. It's yeah. got a little salt to it, so it's that salty, uh, savory, sweet, salty, wonderful savory, flavor. Savory, sweet yeah. flavor. Mm, it's great. So you're going to put it on the panna cotta. We're going to make little cubes for our children. And then what else are we going to do with it? Oh, God, you can pour it over ice cream. Mm -hmm. You could use it for um, layered desserts. Mm -hmm. You could even, um, you know, it's going to, um, what I like to do is make uh, twills out of it, sugar twills. So what I do is I take a cookie sheet pan and I spray it. I just wipe it with a little bit of butter. Mm -hmm. And then I'll take this and I can create designs, you know, like this. And then once it dries, it all stays together, and I can take that off the plate, and I can point that out of a dessert or oh. top it with something, and, it's, and it becomes almost like glass. 